So you can basically say that this car right here put AMG on the map. I mean, this is a car that before, we can call it 1985, 1986, AMG wasn't in press, they weren't in magazines, but when they launched the Hammer, which is essentially the W124 chassis with either a five liter or a 5.6 liter engine, they shocked the world. I mean, this is a car that did 178 miles per hour top speed in 1986. That was comparable to the 911 Turbo, the Countach, the Testarossa. So I look at this car as the car that set the pace for AMG, who now, after they merged with Mercedes in the mid 90s, produces thousands and thousands of cars a year. I mean, essentially you could put AMG on the same level of any manufacturer, uh, performance manufacturer from around the world. What's interesting about this specific car is we believe that it's actually the car and driver cover car for December 1986. So a fellow Countach owner contacted me and he knew we loved crazy 80s cars. What's crazier than an AMG Hammer? <laughs> Not much. And he said that he knew of a hidden, sort of undiscovered AMG Hammer. Now, there's 13 sort of supposed cars that were produced. There's no great record system or anything like that. This was in the infancy of AMG days. But there was 13 cars for North America and ballpark another 10 to 12 cars for the rest of the world. So these are extremely rare cars. What's left today, um, we know one car was actually destroyed in a terrible divorce. Um, the car was actually pieced out because the owner didn't want to have a settlement with his wife. We know that one car is actually just missing. Um, and the rest of the cars have sort of, you know, uh, there's three cars with one mechanic, very famous mechanic with Blue Ridge Mercedes in Atlanta. And my friend who contacted me with the Countach, um, uh, Stephen Duncan Peters, who thank you by the way, um, he has one of the very famous red sedans, contacted me about this car. Now what he believed was this was the car and driver magazine cover car because it was one of the only cars ever produced in black over blue what they called at the time buffalo leather so the blue buffalo leather it's basically encompassing the entire interior the door panels even the door pillars amg spent no expense when they were building these cars and what's interesting this, about this car is it has all these crazy options. It has Burl's wood everywhere. It has the Recaro. It almost looks like they're 30 way adjustable seats. It's got all the ground effects. It has the wheels and it obviously has the big famous hammer engine. I reached out to um, a contact that he sent me. He said, this gentleman owns it in the Northeast. And um, unfortunately the email was wrong. So I started looking for a phone number for this guy and I looked the state and the name and all these different things. So me and a colleague of mine actually spent probably two or three weeks trying to find this supposed owner in the Northeast. We played with emails, phone numbers, and we finally got a hit back. Um, the gentleman actually said he didn't want to sell the car. Um, we asked him if, if we could inspect the car. And this sort of like, you could call it flirting, went back and forth for months. Um, after almost a year, uh, and I think it was about a year and a half later, we ended up with a deal to purchase the car. Now, as we were doing the inspection, I recorded all of the numbers, valve cover numbers. Um, so all of the AMG examples have different numbers in the engine. So you at least know the engine block and the engine valve covers are all original. They have a builder number, they have a valve cover number, etc. I reached out to Hartmut. Now, if you don't know who Hartmut is, I refer to him by his first name because he is so famous. Hartmut is the founder of Rentec, and Rentec modifies um, Mercedes examples from the 90s until today. 
And Hartmut was actually one of the first employees for AMG North America and actually worked for AMG in Germany in the 80s. Immediately, I started texting Hartmut and he wrote me back right away. Wow, <laughs> you know what you're talking about and you know what you've got. Um, he actually told us that this is probably one of the first two examples of an AMG hammer ever produced. One of the first cars that went from AMG in Germany, later sold to AMG North America. And then he was the one that actually probably changed the original five liter motor to the upgraded 5.6 liter motor. I have to say of all the cars that we've had in the past three years, when I first started posting about this car on social media, I had never seen so many people comment, like, and really tell me <laughs> I need to keep this car. And, and it's funny, part of me during the chase over a year and a year and a half, it was a personal thing. I fell in love with the story. I remember reading the magazine as a kid. And it's in a weird way, it's like a unicorn. Um, this is a car that I don't think you'll ever see again. Um, if it ever sells, I think it'll end up in a museum, um, something like that. But this is a piece of history, and this is the, the type of car that we talk about when we say it's all in the details.